using the blue ones the blue ones are a lot hardier they're a lot heavier they're harder to move so they create better walls um, I have a penny here again this is gonna be for uh, probably a, a buck a young buck when they when they eventually do get around to picking up one um, and then this pen is the probably the only pen that the size has differed slightly The farm the sheep are out I'm not sure why they're following me because I already gave them their feed and, and what's not so I'm just gonna lock them out so that they don't think I'm giving them more feed but a while back I had done um, a pallet pulling and it was actually to show you guys what I was gonna do in here at that time it didn't have the hay so now I have the hay stacked it up where it's supposed to be here it was empty um, and all of these were old so what I actually did with the pallets like I said I was going to pull them I didn't pull them it was a lot more work than I suspected it to be so I used a lot of the pallets whole obviously you can tell this is a whole pallet because it still has both sides on it um, so I just technically I just restructured but using using the stronger of the pallets using the blue ones the blue ones are a lot hardier they're a lot heavier they're harder to move so they create better walls um, I have a penny here again this is gonna be for uh, probably a, a buck a young buck when they when they eventually do get around to picking up one um, and then this pen is the probably the only pen that the size has differed slightly not not very much but slightly the size has differed um, I have a rat hole there so I have to get back at um, ratting should I say <laughs> so here is where I have two of the pallets pull now this is a pull pallet where as I explained I was gonna just keep the front boards on and take off the back with the blocks so there's the blocks and I just took the back of the blocks off of this one so that it's just so it's kind of more space on the inside right so there is one that was pulled and here is one that was pulled again um, for more space on the inside I just took the blocks off of the back side of it and left the front intact because it was perfect for me the way I wanted to design it I put back on my original doors as you guys can see the doors are on the only pen that does not have a door on is this one um, because right now it doesn't hold anything so I didn't force myself to put a door on um, I kind of tried to repair this but the sheep have been stepping in it so I just use here as their general hay area um, is nothing fancy it used to be a wire bed where the hay sits on top and the ends drop to the bottom because we all know that sheep are quite picky when it comes to their hay they don't like to eat hay that they walk on so I had it elevated but the sheep kept they kept stepping on and destroying it so for right now until I get some more wire some more um, materials to, to recreate what I had here before I'm just using it as a hay area um, the normal pen and then here I have a UN a UN pen where I, I created a whole door I just put this these slots of wood behind it to kind of reinforce the door make it a lot more solid but it's a whole door a solid door and I half pulled I half pulled this pallet and I reversed it the reason I reversed it this time is because this is going to be my UN pen eventually so when, sorry, sorry, not my UN pen, but my lamin pen, sorry. When you hear me say UN, I mean lamin. So this is going to be my lamin pen eventually. So that when a U is in here and she does have lambs or a lamb, there is little to no space that the lamb can ease its way out into the, commun the community pen. So she will have her almost full privacy in here. Again, behind there, I, what I will do is I'll probably put a, a sheet of galvanizer or something to, to block some of the draft, just like I did on this side out here on the, on the outside. Um, I'm going to put a piece of galvanizer or something on the outside there to block off most of the draft that comes in because the wind does come from that direction. Um, so in here would be my lambing pen uh, in the future. In here, more than likely, will hold probably young, a young ram or a breeding ram until, you know, I am ready to let him out now guys I don't plan on keeping a thousand sheep in here I can comfortably hold probably a, a seven to eight ewes and in here I can probably hold two rams comfortably um, so that's what my aim is that's the, the limit of to which I'm, I'm willing to to go for, for these pens now this pen uh, again 
all of the doors are on so here is ready to hold the sheep the only thing that's not on is this door for this pen and in time I'll put that on when I think I'm gonna be be ready to pick up a buck um, I shifted the feed from from the left to the right or however you want to look at it I, I changed the, the, the size for the feed because um, the feed have cans so I'm not too worried about the cans getting wet because they're always gonna be covered the feed is always gonna be dry but the hay, on the other hand, I always wanted the hay to have coverage out of the rain. Uh, wet hay is not cool. They don't like wet hay. So I like I wanted to have that at least covered until, you know, I'm sorry, when the rains are here. Now that we're coming into the dry season, it is not really that important. But it, it's still best to have it covered, keep it dry, keep it out of the, the elements so that when I do have to feed it to the sheep, they're getting the hay that they want, that they like, that they rather, mm -hmm. right? So that is the update. If you guys um, watch a couple of my videos, my videos back, you will see the first part of this video called pallet pulling. And that is when I bought the pallets down to the farm to pull them apart to create in here. Uh, unfortunately, I was, I was unable to finish that video by letting you guys see exactly what I did when I did it. But now I'm just following up so you guys can see exactly how it turned out after a couple of weeks, rather, of use. Um, it's been working perfectly. Um, any other details that I left out, feel free to drop me a comment, drop me a line, and I'll be free. I'll be I'll be glad to just um, either rewrite you or do another video on exactly what I did and how I managed to piece everything together. Um, if if this is something that is simple enough for you here in the Caribbean things are kind of expensive so we have to make do with what we have um, especially when you're on a low or no budget so if you guys are looking to do the same thing I can always show you um, the ways in, in which I went about doing it and how it saved or cost me money um, that's what I'm here for to help inspire you as I inspire myself